Grabbed you a couple things at the newsstand. I figured for your first day, you might want to brush up on your current events. That is so sweet. <laughs> okay, the Times, the Journal, USA Today, Atlantic, a couple of fan magazines. I know you hate, but you never know what they're going to want you to write. It's an internship. I'll probably be making coffee and answering phones. Are you kidding? I know they're not bringing you to San Francisco to make coffee. They're lucky to have you. Thank you. Oh, I got you a little something. Ben. <laughs> Open it. It's a key. It's my heart. Okay, that sounded a lot better when I was practicing. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. I have to go. Yeah. Here, I'll hold this. Thank you. you. Sure you got everything? Yeah, I'm all set. Don't forget to call me as soon as you land. I, I promise. The shuttle's gonna be waiting right outside a baggage claim. If it's not there... I'm not even gonna say it, Ben. I'm just gonna get on the plane and pretend that I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Good plan. You had six months. We can do this. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Okay. This will be great. I mean, this is what we both wanted, right? I mean, this is for both of us. So you can have time to finish your novel and... Thank God you're leaving. Finally get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back and it'll be like I was never gone. We'll be together and... It'll be so great. It's already pretty great. I love you, Ben. I love you so much. Nothing on earth changes that. I, I can't believe how much information there is on this guy. That's great, Hannah. And as much as I like these stakeouts, I am freezing. Look at this. Ray Campbell was run out of Miami, Tulsa, Las Vegas. Same scam. Always during the holidays. Uh, can I turn on the heater? I, I can't feel my fingers. How many times have we been through this? Oh, thanks. What are you doing for Christmas? A lot of work to catch up on. I'm gonna go visit my folks in Wisconsin. They love Christmas. I always make a big deal when I was growing up. Carl. Go. Excuse me, Ray Campbell? Hannah Dunbar, Channel 8 News. Would you care to respond to allegations that your charity is actually a sham and that you pocket the donations yourself? Charity? What are you talking about? You solicit for something called the Christmas Stocking Fund? Uh, you got the wrong guy, lady. I'm in the catering business. Uh, my investigation shows that phone calls and emails have all been traced back to this warehouse, which is leased in your name. Wait a minute, I know you. You're on all the buses. I got nothing to say. Mr. Campbell, doesn't it bother you to exploit the generosity of so many good-hearted people? I said we're done here. Turn off the camera. Hey, hey, you can't come in here! Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! While most people celebrate Christmas as a time of giving, others exploit that generosity for their own gain. With so many people in need, it's important we do what we can to help others, but it's also just as important we remain vigilant about where our donations go. So if someone calls you from the Christmas Stocking Fund, make the donation that will save the most. A lump of coal. 
This is Hannah Dunbar reporting Channel 8 News. Is it true? What? I was talking to Carl. He said you were weighing it. That wrap-up was off the top of your head? How did it play? Are you kidding? Through the roof. People are calling, texting, tweeting. Everybody wants to know the right places to donate. Okay, which is exactly what we do for a follow-up. Show them the other side of the coin. Show them the places they can trust. Uh, donations, volunteer work. I like it. Let's do it. Okay. In the meantime, how about we celebrate over dinner tonight? I can't. What about tomorrow night? Uh, it's the office Christmas party tomorrow night, remember? Remind me again why we have a party with the same people we work with every day. Because it's Christmas, Hannah. And because the corporate hotshots like hanging out with their star reporter. Of course, that's just your <laughs> news director talking. Oh, really? Well, what does my uh, handsome and charming boyfriend have to say? I say we cut out early and have a little romantic dinner at Martello's. And that's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Then let's pull that list of charities together right away, Carrie, because Grant's on board. I think we could have a follow-up on air by tomorrow. I've already started vetting a few places. Good people. They could use the plug. Okay, good. You know, I really want to play up the whole Christmas thing. Dogs and kids and bake sales and reindeers on rooftops, whatever they've got. All that warm and fuzzy stuff you love this time of year? Hey, I've got nothing against Christmas as long as it looks good on camera. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Great. Anything else? There was... One quick thing. What's up? I had this idea for a Christmas story. There's a family shelter downtown. They've been around for like 20 years. Carrie, and I would love to hear all about it, but I just don't have time to give it my full attention right now. Oh, oh, sure. In the meantime, why don't you put your pitch in an email and I'll look at it as soon as I can. Okay? Thanks. I will be out here when you need me. You always are. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. I just feel it's time, Harold. I mean, I love this place, but we both know I'm ready for this. We've been doing this dance for weeks now, Harold. I don't know what else I can say to convince you. You don't have to. What? I just wanted to see your face when I told you that the board has agreed to your request. They have? Congratulations. As of the new year, you'll be our special news correspondent for the New York Bureau. Thank you. This is... I just... Thank you so much. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's like someone's all full of Christmas spirit. As a matter of fact, it's been a pretty good day. Well, you deserve it. That was a wonderful story you reported on the news earlier today. Oh, th thank you so much. Uh, can, can I ask you something? Actually, I really No, 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 no. It, it's just, how do you know which stories are real and which ones aren't? You just have to trust your instincts. It's really the best way to make the right choice. Instincts? Hmm. Merry Christmas! still have the news to do. First up, I would like to congratulate our own intrepid Hannah Dunbar for once again going for the jugular. Come on, you guys. It was fish in a barrel. Now, Hannah is working on a follow-up to let our audience know the right places for them to make their donations. Actually, there's a different idea I want to run by you. Okay. And Carrie deserves some credit on this. She was a big help pulling it together. I like how you're bringing her along. Let's hear it. There's a family shelter downtown that's been there for nearly 20 years. The woman who runs it, Helen Sander, was actually living on the streets herself for a time. And that's where she was, Christmas Eve, nearly 20 years ago. <laughs> I just heard the great. 
great news. We got the green light for the shelter story. Grant loved the idea. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so what happens now? I mean, how do we do this? Let's get an interview set up with Helen Sander right away. I want to do it at the shelter, but find out if she has an office, someplace quiet where I can really talk to her. Oh, um, I thought... What's wrong? N no, I, I mean, I just, um, I thought when I pitched you the story... And you did a fine job, but I had to put my own spin on it. That's what sold Grant on the story. Right. <laughs> Carrie, listen, I know it's hard, but you're not ready to step in front of the camera. Not yet, but you'll get there. Trust me, don't worry. You just have to be patient. You're right. <laughs> and in the meantime, I think we make a great team. So I'm counting on you to keep doing all of the great things you do here so I can do what I do. And together, we can make this story another win for the team. That sound good? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll get that interview set up right away. Thank you, Carrie. Hello? Oh, thank you, Stuart. Uh, let me know when the car gets here. Yes? I, okay, I'll be right down. I uh, caught your story yesterday, Miss Dunbar. That was really nice work. Thank you, Stuart. You have fun tonight. You deserve it. I'll try. Okay. I don't want nothing melancholy, just a little eggnog and holly. It's holiday wedding. So hurry up, don't keep me waiting. I'm in the mood for celebrating. Just a holiday. So, have we been a good girl this year? Well, being at this party counts. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were having a good time. <laughs> Tell me something, Grant. If... If someone from your past contacts you on the internet and it's really out of the blue, what do you do? Well, it depends on what we're talking about here. Is this someone who owes you money or an old flame? Uh, well, he doesn't owe me money. Easy. Block him. Really? Oh yeah, been there, done that. I mean, not everyone's a good stalker. Okay, <laughs> let me ask you this. You're a famous journalist, you have an amazing place and you make great money. What possible ulterior motive could you have, right? Good evening, everyone. If I could have your attention for a moment. I just wanted to take a moment to offer season's greetings. And to thank you all for another great year at Channel 8. I also have one announcement that falls in the category of bittersweet. I'm pleased to tell you that our good friend and colleague, Hannah Dunbar, has accepted the position of special news correspondent in our New York Bureau. I'm sure you'll all agree when I say our loss is New York's game. Thank you. New York. I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know Harold was going to do that. I wanted to tell you over dinner. I, I know that we have a lot to talk about. Hannah, congratulations. You're not upset? Are you kidding? It's killing me. I'd love to work in New York. <laughs> I mean, about, about us. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. 
Of course. I mean, this has been really great. I'm, I'm, I'm really gonna miss you. But we both knew one of us was gonna move on sooner or later. Yeah, no, of course. It's, I mean, this happens all the time, but... Let's face it, Hannah. People like you and I, the only thing we're ever really in love with is our career. That's why we're so good. Congratulations. Oh, this is not the lunchroom. Uh, back the way you came, two lefts and a right. Hey, look who! Oh, you are on the corner. And you're having another great day. New York, huh? Congratulations. Thank you. Um, why aren't you celebrating? I'm not exactly what you would call a Christmas person. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you might have a Christmas wish on your mind. I've got everything I need, thanks. Oh, no. A Christmas wish isn't about what you need. It's about what you want. And I have everything I want. And just for the record, I didn't get it by wishing. I've worked very hard to get where I am. And by trusting your instincts to make the right choices? <laughs> um, this is, I'm not, I can't believe we're having this conversation. I don't even know you. Sure you do. Christmas wish isn't about what you need. It's about what you want. Gently, but it's Pancake Sunday and we just go crazy! Woo! <laughs> hey, are you okay? Excuse me. Hannah? Your boots. And uh, this is 
mine too. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, minivan? Anna, wh what's going on? I'll bring it back. Anna! Anna! What are you doing? Come on! Anna! Come on! I not believe the morning I'm having. Excuse me? The visitors have to check in. I have to call you up. What are you talking about, Stuart? It's me. Look, uh, I don't know how you know my name, but you're not going anywhere unless I call you up first. But I, 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 I live here. It's Hannah Dunbar, 8B. Lady, I have never laid eyes on you before in my life. And I'm pretty sure I'd remember those pajamas. I... Hi, I left my key card and I need to get into my office. You work here? Of course, Hannah Dunbar. Sorry. Hannah Dunbar, news division. There's no Hannah Dunbar. Have a nice day. Is Grant Walker in his office? He's not here. It's Sunday. Great. Okay, well, could you please call him at home? Tell him it's me and he needs to get down here right away. You gotta be kidding me. No, it's all right, I promise. Are you wearing pajamas? Listen, I really don't want to be that person, but I have won a number of national awards, including three Emmys for my reporting. My ratings are the highest in the station's history. You know what? Wait, call my assistant. Ask her to come down. Her name's Carrie Garrett. Your assistant is Carrie Garrett? Yes. Please call her. That Carrie Garrett? What you're really asking, Hannah, is do I know what's going on? You do know me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I thought I was losing my mind. You're not losing your mind. I don't understand, though. What, what is going on? What is happening to me? I have no idea. What? Sorry. Not a clue. What, what are you talking about? This can't just happen. I woke up this morning and my life was gone. Yeah, I know. Weird, right? No, not weird. Impossible. People don't just wake up and, and, and find themselves leading completely different lives. And yet, here we stand. Could, could you just stop that, please? Thanks. Listen, this is unacceptable, okay? I'm starting a great new job, and I just want my life back. Please tell me what I am supposed to do. How should I know? This is your wish. Wish? What? What wish? Remember, at the party. I said it looks like someone in here might have a Christmas wish on their mind. And I said no. You sure? Well, are, are you saying that I, I did this? All I know is that eventually we all have a moment in our lives where we wonder, what if? What if I'd gone left instead of right? What if I'd said yes instead of no? What if I'd waited just five more minutes? What if? But how could that change everything? Well, now and then, somebody wonders so hard that they turn it into a wish without even knowing it. And trust me, a Christmas wish can be a very powerful thing. Okay, so what am I supposed to do now? Hmm? My advice, just go easy. One step at a time, it'll sort itself out. And how long is that going to take? Good question. Probably as long as it takes for you to figure out why it happened in the first place. It's uh, great, thanks. In 50 
yards, take a left on Smith Street. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Hannah! Hannah! Hey! I was gonna call you when I got home. Door's locked. <sighs> it's time for a cool down anyway. I'm up to three miles a day. Can you believe it? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's killing me, but it's worth it. And like you said, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Uh, what are you doing out here? Oh, you know. Yeah, I know. This time of year, it never stops. I need to take a little downtime. I'm just surprised, you know? I mean, with tonight and everything. Tonight? Well, that's why I was gonna call you. I was planning to make my sweet potato pie like I do every year. Suddenly, Rob's like, Tammy, make something else for a change. I was wondering, what do you think? Do you think everyone's sick of the same old thing? Because we're friends, Tammy. Right? That's why That's why you're asking? Well, yeah. Because you come to me and I can come to you. So you think Rob's right? No, no, I'm just saying that, that, that it, after all these years, we can, we can talk about anything. Well, I guess. Sure. And we can talk about how you're married to Rob and how I'm... I'm married to Ben and live in this house with two daughters. Oh, Caitlin and Hallie are such great girls. Caitlin and Hallie. Yes, they are great kids. They're wonderful kids, Caitlin and Hallie. They're wonderful kids with names that just really stick with you when you say them enough. Caitlin and Hallie, Caitlin and Hallie. You know, and then there's my job. When did you get a job? Not a job. Not a job job. Just a, my, I'm a stay-at-home mom. My family is my job. <laughs> yeah, like you'd have right? time for anything else. The PTA and the booster <laughs> club and the neighborhood watch and running after the girls every which way. I don't know how you keep up as it is. It really makes you wonder how I got here. Honey, are you okay? Um, I'm just kind of having an off day. Oh. I read somewhere almost half the people in this country dread the holidays. No, that is the least of my problems. Is everything okay at home? I'm not sure. Did you and Ben have a fight? No, I never had a fight with Ben. That's what I mean. If you two can't get along, what hope is there for the rest of us? <laughs> but sometimes people, people change. Not you two. <laughs> no. I got a scoot. See you tonight. Tammy, um, why are you bringing sweet potato pie? You know what? You're right. It is time for a change. Thanks, Hannah. No, no, I, she hasn't been gone that long. I was just wondering if she... Maybe she went over to your place to work on the pageant or something. No, no, I'm sure she's fine. Hi. Hi. Never mind, she's here. Thanks. You look great, by the way. Are you all right? You know, I've had better days. You left without your phone and your purse. I had no idea where you were. And the way you ran out of here. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been calling everybody. What's going on? Where have you been? I went into the city. The city? That's where I live. Come on, Hannah. This isn't funny. I was really worried. How do you think I feel? I, I went to bed, and the next thing I know, I wake up in the, the suburbs with two kids and a dog? Well, what are you talking about? We talked about this when we got married and I got the job offer in San Francisco. We decided to move here and raise our family. And I, for one, have been very happy over the last 10 years. Wow. Um, okay, I, I just, I don't even know how to say this, Ben, but there's, there's really been some sort of like cosmic mashup. I didn't wish for this. I know it's not exactly what we planned. 
Ben, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I am not your wife. And this is not my house. And I am not anybody's mommy. But they seem like nice kids. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know where this is coming from. But you and me, we could always talk. When you're ready to tell me what's really going on, we'll figure it out. You look like I haven't kissed you in years. Uh, can I take a shower? You don't need permission. Right. Of course, because I... Yeah, I, I live here. This is Hannah Dunbar reporting, Channel 8 News. Don't, uh, what are, what, what are you doing? I'm just getting a band-aid for Hallie. What are you doing? Since when are you so shy? I'm not shy. Just a little me time would be nice. Me time. I remember that back before we had kids. <laughs> Do you need anything from the store? Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, we need ice for the party. Party? Oh, no, no, I, I can't go to a party. <laughs> then I guess it's a good thing we're having it here. Don't forget about the mushrooms. Uh-huh. certainly do a lot of cooking. Oh, look at this! Mushrooms Neptune. And would you just look at all those ingredients? This looks so, so complicated. It's Daddy's favorite. I know. Do you know what would really surprise Daddy? Hi guys! Back. Do I smell mushrooms? Surprise! <laughs> they wanted to make it themselves. <laughs> Yum. Now who's gonna clean this mess up? You! email that Keelan's coach sent out? Oh, yeah. Next season, he wants the girls to try out for their positions, to have the best starting lineup so they can win a few games. Beats losing. Our girls aren't there to win, they just want to have fun. And competing against your friends, I think that sends the wrong message to the girls, don't you? No, I think he has a point. What? You know what it's like out there. Everybody's scrambling around to get their piece of the pie. A little competition at their age, I don't think that's a bad thing. But they just look so cute in those little uniforms, don't they? They're so adorable. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Tammy, look who's here. Everybody, Tammy's here. No running in the house. Sorry we're late. Don't uh, try a new recipe when you're in a hurry. No, no, it's okay. I'm so happy to see a familiar face. You must be Rob. Has it been that long? Hey, Anne. 
Where's Ben? Uh, he's in the kitchen with those people that are in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> so, what do you think? That looks great. I mean, that guy owns the company. He's paying me to come up with an ad campaign to sell more hot tubs. <laughs> Thing is, not only does he want to be his own spokesman, you write advertising. That's what I keep telling myself. Nine years I've been doing this. Nine years. Wow. So uh, anyway, I, I called the guy. I said, "Listen, mm -hmm. I mean, this job is the whole reason we moved here. It's got to be this. We need." Right back. You're leaving? He's smart, but he hasn't learned to walk himself. Come on. Come on, Toby. Come on, let's go. Good job. <sighs> so this is how it's gonna be. Then you just have to figure it out. That's what he said, right? Figure out why it happened in the first place. Before you can change anything back. I can do this. I hope. Things. What things? Uh, well, if you don't like the fruit, why did you pick the cereal? I like the cereal. I like the fruit. So you like the fruit, but not the cereal, and you like the cereal, but not the fruit? Are you guys messing with me? Morning. You left in the things. I lost my head. I will see everybody tonight. But you're leaving? I know it's early, but uh, I'm supposed to have a breakfast meeting with those drugstore guys. Could be a big account for us. I'll call you later. You guys, have a great day at school, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. School. I mean, how hard could it be to figure out her password? Oh, oh, hi. Hi there. Okay, great. All set. Um, listen, do you guys... Happen to know if I keep the school's address on my phone? Why are you acting so weird? Weird? What? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, no. Yes, no. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just a, a little not myself these days. My teacher says Christmas does that to people. Christmas. Exactly. Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year, but, but it definitely does that to people. So are you going to be okay? Absolutely. And I don't want you guys to worry, okay? Because this is strictly temporary. And as soon as I get to the bottom of it, everything goes back to the way it was. In the meantime, though, you two can help me. What do you mean? I mean, you can help keep me on the ball, keep me focused. You know, help remind me of stuff if I get 
too weird or distracted or, I don't know, lost. So you could think more about Christmas? Exactly. Yes, you handle the details and I'll think about Christmas. How does that sound? We know how to get to school. You guys ever notice how all the streets look the same? Turn here. See, that was a test and that was good. Now, who remembers what we do after school? You have to pick us up right after school or I'll be late for ballet. Then you take Hallie to gymnastics. Don't forget to bring us a snack. Okay, so ballet, gymnastics, snack. Got it. You have to make something for our class Christmas parties too. What, like stuffed mushrooms? <laughs> no, cookies. <laughs> you saw a raccoon? Okay, honey, that's a little off topic. No, she means that's where you turn. Where you saw a raccoon is where you turn? What? Yeah, here. Just a little bit more heads up next time, okay? You have to pick me at first, then you go back for Hallie. We usually have dinner right when Dad gets home. Dinner, okay. And we still need to help get ready for the pageant. Uh, pageant? There it is. Group hug? Okay? Yeah. Okay. You guys have a great day. Okay. Bye. Bye. Family. All uppercase exclamation point. What? The pastor on your phone. Thank you. Dream on, dog. Okay, hold up. Okay, come here, come here. Whew. All right, listen to me. You got five minutes, okay? Hmm. Deal? It's mine. Doctor, school, doctor, ballet, veterinarian, then school, Ben's office, gymnastics, poison control. But wow, you have got to get out more. You don't know where that's been. Put that down and not on me. That is disgusting. Oh, ew. No, no, no. no, no. What a sweetie. <laughs> you just want to play, don't you, boy? Yeah. Oh, what's his name? Mm -hmm. His name? What do you call him? Yeah. Oh, I was just, you know, we just. He does have a name? Of course. Of course, he has a name. I mean, why wouldn't he have a name? That would just be crazy. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't name their dog? Um, you know, uh, what would you call him? If you didn't name your dog, it would just be like dog, dog, dog. Oh, Toby, Toby. His name is Toby. His name's Toby. We call him Toby. Yeah, just Toby, Toby, Toby. Good old Toby. That's right. <laughs> we are not taking that ball home. That is disgusting. Clearly, Toby, we have to be more careful around the Christmas tree so it doesn't tip over. So, I suggest we wipe the slate clean and start over. That sound good to you? Was that so hard?
In his statement, the governor denied any knowledge of the department's actions and promised a full investigation. That's my story. This is Carrie Garrett reporting, Channel 8 News. I don't believe this. Thank you. Thank you. This is such an honor. I, I really don't know what to say. <gasps> I know what to say. It's my award. It's my life. Oh, no. I'm really sorry, you guys. I lost track of time, and then I, I couldn't find the place where we saw the raccoon, so I didn't know where to turn. Whoever's late for ballet has to be last in line. That seems harsh. I promise it won't happen again, okay? Oh, and the good news is I got all kinds of cookies for your class parties. At the store? Well, I didn't know what kind your class liked, so I got a little bit of everything. You were supposed to bake cookies. tonight. Everything okay? We had kind of a rocky day. Ah, that explains the pizza. What? Since we only have pizza on birthdays and family movie nights, I figured something was up. Oh. How was uh, your day? Not bad. What? We got the drugstore account. Oh, good. Yeah, that was pretty much the consensus at the office. Lending our biggest account ever is definitely a step in the right direction. I'm sorry, that's... Congratulations. Do you like working there at the ad agency? Yeah, I do. I mean, it's a small shop, but we're getting there. You know what I was thinking about today? Your novel. What? You're such a talented writer, Ben. I... I was just thinking about it. Um, I'm sorry. No, you're right. One of these days. Definitely. Yeah. I'm gonna go check on the girls. Still good for you? Hmm. Thanks. Hmm. I gotta go. I'm sorry. It's all right. No problem. Hmm. Hey. Have a great day at school, guys. Okay. Okay. See you tonight, okay? We used to do it all the time. We also used to have the time. What's going on? I just feel like I haven't talked to you in a really long time. Sure. Swing by the office. We'll grab a sandwich. Bye. Bye. Okay, hop out. 
guys, how long are you gonna give me the silent treatment? How long are you gonna keep acting like this? Come on, you guys, I'm trying. You have to try harder. Being a mom is an important job. What am I supposed to do? Anna! Hey, Mary Beth's gonna be late tonight, so Sheila said she could pick up the pain if you don't mind coming early and opening up. The Christmas pageant? We need to help decorate. How could you forget that? I've got a lot on my mind, remember? You said that you would think more about Christmas. That was a deal. You know what? You're swamped. I'll, I'll get it. See you soon. All right, it's all taken care of, see? You're really not gonna help? You guys, please give me a break. I don't know the first thing about Christmas pageants. You don't know anything about anything important. Come on. Come on. This isn't even my real life. This is just a, a what if. Yeah, strictly hypothetical and temporary. I know the difference, but I can't tell the difference, please. I can feel the difference, and it feels... It feels... It's just cookies. Cookies. I smell like burn cookies. I forgot to set the timer. You? You say that like I've never done it before. You haven't. Oh, uh, well, it's just the holidays. What do you mean? I'm not a big fan of Christmas. What? You love Christmas, Hannah. You always have. You can't wait to put the tree up. You finished your shopping weeks ago. Well, yeah, I know. I just... Sometimes you just... You look around. You can't help thinking. Are we in some kind of trouble here? Is that what this whole lunch is about? What? No. Because the last few days, it's like you haven't been yourself, and I'm starting to get worried. I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my mind lately. Like my book. You're a great writer, Ben. Yeah, well, writing copy may not be great literature, but at least it pays the bills. <laughs> but haven't you ever wondered, what if? What if you kept writing? What if you finished the book? What if... What if we never had Caitlin? What if we never had Hallie? No. There's no what ifs. I love you. I love the girls. I love every sleepless night. Every leaky faucet. Every month we just scraped by. I wouldn't change a thing. You really mean that? What about you? You ever wonder what if? What if you'd gotten on that plane? I already know what would have happened. You sound pretty sure. You turn left instead of right, you say yes and instead of no. It changes everything. Not everything. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. A partridge and a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Two turtle doves. Hey. Hi. I'm uh, I'm just gonna run over to the school to help with the decorations, okay? 
So I'll be back in a couple hours. Did, did you guys want to go? really fun last night. Mm -hmm. It was really fun last night. <laughs> Glad you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Thanks. Have a great day at school, guys. I'll see you tonight. Christmas wish is a powerful thing, and sometimes it can come true right before your eyes. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Off you go! <laughs> bye. bye! Good job! <laughs> bye. Who's next? Did you see that? See what? Santa winked at you. What? Like he knew you. That's just because I've been a really good girl this year. <laughs> What's going on up there? 
Thank you. Grant hires makeup for a remote now? Are we getting a good off hmm? Really? Uh, no, we're good. Girl, let's do this. And rolling. It's a long way from living on the streets of San Francisco to the... <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, can I hear you? Are you okay? Are you okay? You okay? Yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just help me up. Keep rolling, Carl. It's a long way from living on the streets of San Francisco to the Christmas fair in the heart of suburbia. But not too far for Helen Sander to find her way here, where brick by brick she would build the foundation for a family shelter that is a true Christmas miracle. This is Hannah Matthews reporting, Channel 8 News. Morning, Channel 8 News. It's a long way from living on the streets of San Francisco to the Christmas. <laughs> what are you girls watching? All right, okay, let's see it. It's a long way from the streets of San Francisco to the Christmas fair in the heart of suburbia. But not too far for Helen Sander to find her way here. Very good. Where brick by brick she would build the foundation for a family shelter that is a true Christmas miracle. You guys have the best day, okay? Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Bye. <laughs> oh. Hello? I'm calling for Hannah Matthews. Speaking. Please hold for Mr. Walker. Mrs. Matthews. Hello, Grant Walker. I'm the news director at Channel 8 News. Grant? Hi, how are you? Um, fine. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm great. I'm, yeah, I'm doing great. Well, great. Listen, the reason I called... Oh, like I don't know you're a big fan of those fish out of water stories. <laughs> Excuse me? I thought you want to interview me, right, about my stand up at the mall last night? Mrs. Matthews, have we met? Uh, no. No, no, I, I just, I watch your channel all the time. Well, thank you. As a matter of fact, yes, I, I, I would like to talk to you about an interview. The hits on your YouTube video just keep climbing. I saw that. So what do you say? Can you get away for lunch in the city tomorrow? I, I, yeah, yeah, I, I can, I can get away. Wonderful. I'll get my assistant to call you back with all the details. I'm looking forward to it. Me too, thank you. I'll have the Atlantic salmon with the leek and apple saute, but instead of potato, could I have the caprese salad? Very little olive oil, please. Of course. Thank you. That sounds amazing. Make it too. Thanks, Jeffrey. Thanks. Well, so much for my attempt at impressing you. What? <laughs> well, you've been here before. You didn't even look at the menu. Oh, I just, um, I looked at it before, online, because I, I wanted to impress you. <laughs> I have to say, Mrs. Matthews, you are not what I expected. Oh, uh, well, you can call me Hannah, but what were you expecting? A uh, high-energy, over-scheduled soccer mom who took one communication course in college and just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Which is a perfect local story to wrap up the 5 o'clock hour and lead strong into the national news. Wow. You really do watch our show. Can I be completely frank? Please. We could do the interview you brought me here to discuss, and I'm sure your audience would get a good chuckle out of my antics before hearing about the problems of the world. <laughs> That's usually the idea. Or 
You and Harold could take another look at the numbers on my video. How do you know Harold? Channel 8 has the opportunity to do something different than anyone's tried before. Which is? To get that younger demographic interested in the local news. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. No, not if we do it the same way everyone else does, the same way we always did. We? Think of it as a different side of the news, a, a, a better side. For 90 seconds each night, people get to feel better about themselves. And how do we do that? You hire me as a special correspondent. Okay. You use the mall video as a way to introduce a new segment. We could call it, I, I don't know, uh, you gotta see this. And we, we get online and we track the videos that are popular, that have that local connection, and we broadcast them, but it's not about the videos. Because we could see those online anytime. Exactly. It's about the people. It's about the, the grandmas and the kids and the proud new parents and all of the wonderful moments that they want to share. It, it's about the lives they lead. And how all of these same things matter to all of us. I know these people. They're my friends, they're my neighbors, and I just never realized before, I never realized how important they are, how important family is. I mean, that's, that's what makes the world a better place. Who wouldn't want to watch that? Who wouldn't want to watch a part of the news that just makes you feel better about yourself? In here. How'd it go? Great. <laughs> wow. Look at you. Oh, thanks. I needed something to wear to the city. That's something all right. <laughs> Where are the girls? Dress rehearsal, remember? Pageants tomorrow night. I'm just taking them some dinner. Well, I wanted to tell everyone the big news together, but I can't wait. You got the interview. He offered me a job. A job? <laughs> I mean, it's not official yet, because I still have to meet with his boss. Whoa, whoa Hannah. Uh, a job in, in the city? You should have seen me, Ben. It was like, all of a sudden, I could see it. It was just right there in front of me, and all I had to do was reach out and grab it. And I didn't let go until he said yes. I was on fire. Wow. I, I've never heard you sound like this before. I know. I'm so excited. Isn't this exciting? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's great, but... Um, don't you think we need to talk about this? Oh, absolutely. Of course. I know this is a lot to take in at once. You could say that. <laughs> I just have such a good feeling about this job. I think this is a, it's like a whole new beginning for us. I didn't know we needed a new beginning. Oh, well, you know what I mean. What about the girls? What do you mean? Working in the city with traffic. It's over an hour each way. When are you going to see them? I'll see them all the time. You leave before they wake up. Get home after they're in bed. No, it's not going to be like that. And I'm going to be home on the weekends. The weekends. You say something like that, Hannah, and it, it's like I don't even know you. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay, fine. You know what? I won't do the commute. I won't do the commute, and we'll just, we'll just, we'll, we'll move. Move? Wow. What? Why not? San Francisco is an amazing city. I mean, there's so much for the girls to see and do, and there's better schools, and there's so many opportunities. Just like that. Take them out of their school, ask them to leave all their friends, say goodbye to the only home they've ever known, the home where we have become a family. And that sounds okay to you? We'll still be a family. This is... <laughs> this could be so great for us. It's already pretty great. Or so I thought. The girls are gonna be hungry. Oh. Is that me? Yeah, on your first Christmas. But not mine. Oh, you're right. It would have been your third Christmas. Right? <laughs> Do you remember all the Christmases we ever had? I know I'll remember this one best of all. crazy idea that we'd raise our family in this house, grow old together, share a lifetime of memories, 
Ben. I love you, Hannah. Nothing's ever going to change that. It's a lot more important than the address on our door. So if you need this, really need it, we'll figure out a way. How do you know how to do that thing on TV? I was actually a broadcasting major in college. You know, I thought about becoming a TV reporter. You would have been good. Aw, oh, thanks. All right, that should do it. Let's have a look. Okay, okay everybody twirl. <laughs> you call that twirling. That's not twirling. This, this is twirling. <laughs> Hi, it's Hannah. Leave a message. Hannah. Hi. Grant Walker. Great news. I ran your idea by Harold and he loves it. He wants the three of us to talk over dinner, but it has to be tonight. He's on a plane in the morning and he'll be in Montana for the holidays for three weeks. All you have to do is pitch him the way you did me and the job is yours. This could be the start of something great. I've got a feeling about you and me. I think we're going to make an amazing team. Just one word of advice. In this business, the only thing you can really love is your career. You were both so wonderful. I'm glad you came. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Now go to sleep. I love you. I love you. I love you too. Let's remember this, okay? Okay. No, I mean really remember. Are you alright? Just promise me, okay? That you'll remember.
Can I help you? Is, is Ben here? Who? Ben Matthews. This is his house. This is my house. There's no Ben here. Uh, Caitlin? Hey, come on. No, no, what? Holly? What? what are you doing? This is my house. No, no, no. This is this is the house. They, they have to be here. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. It's Hannah. Hey, Tammy, look at me. Please tell me you know me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you, you power walk three miles a day. You, you, you make sweet potato pie for Christmas every year. How do you know all that? Because we're friends. We, we tell each other everything. I, uh, I have to go. Tammy, it's me. It's, it's Hannah. It's, it's Hannah. Hello? You are not going to believe this. Grant? That story about Ray Campbell and the Christmas stocking fund? It's got people so riled up, there's a crowd outside the warehouse. They say they won't let him out until he gives all the money back. Wait, what? Carl and Carrie are on their way. We're going to go live. How fast can you get there? Give it to somebody else. What are you talking about? We couldn't have written a better follow-up. Harold's dancing around like a schoolgirl. My advice? If I had a job waiting for me in New York, I'd get over there pronto. <laughs> Out of it as long as the crowd stays peaceful. They don't want to come off looking like Scrooge either. Here's your mic, Hannah. Okay, and I've got a cell phone number, so I'm going to get him on the line while we're live. Hannah? Are you listening? Yeah, I'll be right back. What? No, Hannah! What? Oh, thank goodness. Please, I want to go back. Hannah! I understand now what you were telling me. I, I, I get it. It's not about trusting your instincts. Sometimes the only way to know what's real is just to trust your heart. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I want my old life back. I want to go back to my other life. That's my wish. That's what I want. Please, the girls. I I'm sorry, Hannah. What? I can't change the choices you've made in the past. Then what was the point? I mean, why let me see that? Why why put me through this if I, if I can't change anything? No, it was never about changing the past. The future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Carrie, it's okay. Hannah, Hannah, what are you doing? We are live in 30 seconds. You do it. What? No. Trust me, you've been ready for this for a long time. And the shelter story, that's yours too. Oh, but one piece of advice. Watch out for falling candy canes. Candy canes?
you. <laughs> I, uh, I hope this wasn't too weird. No, not at all. Uh, I had to be in the city. And, uh, I knew you lived here. I, I can't really explain it. You've been on my mind a lot lately. I've been thinking about you a lot, too. <laughs> I, uh, I was sure you'd be busy Christmas Eve. Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> then again, the holidays were never your favorite time of year. Actually, I like Christmas. Do you, um, you want to get a cup of coffee? Yeah, I'd love that. destination at Christmas. It is so fun! Now, celebrate our Christmas in July tradition. Hallmark Channel's Christmas Keepsake Week.